Here is my fourth question in the series of interview questions. What are the things that you look for before you go for database lock? So what are all the checks? These are called pre-closure checks. We need to perform the pre-closure checks before you lock the data. So below are the steps must be completed before initiating database lock. We need to check whether all the CRF data, it can be paper CRF, it can be electronic CRF. So we need to check whether all the CRF data is entered into the databases. That means the data that is entered into database is complete and consistent. So they will check about data completeness. So we'll check whether SDV is completed. Source data verification. Source data verification is completed. So what is source data verification? Who will do this? Who will plan for this? I have explained in another video. So they check whether source data verification is completed. So they check even about the coding, coding of all the terms. So usually adverse events, medical history, medications, drugs. This are all will be coded using standard dictionaries. Before you close the data, you must check whether coding is completed, whether the coded terms are accurate. So they even check whether reconciliation is done, whether SAE reconciliation is completed. Serious adverse event. SAE stands for serious adverse event, whether SA reconciliation is completed. We'll also check when the data reconciliation. So SA reconciliation, I covered in another video. Even external data reconciliation also, I have covered in separate video. So they will check whether SA reconciliation is done. They will also check whether external data Third party data reconciliation is completed for all the vendors. So they check this point. They check whether all the queries are resolved. The queries can be auto queries or manual queries. Manual queries generated by data manager or CRA or safety associates. Whether all the queries are Resort. It can be auto queries, manual queries. All the CRFs, electronic CRFs are approved, signed by the principal investigator. So once you confirm, once we check all these, then we go for database lock. These are called pre-closure checks. They'll ask you, what do you do? What are all the things that you look after before you log the data? If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.